I've played two Kamen Rider fighting games so far, the original one and a Wii 3 one. They are both flawed but still enjoyable. However, the same cannot be said with Kamen Rider Kuga, the fighting game. This is the video of me going in with high hopes but ends up with a massive disappointment. Here I present to you Kamen Rider Kuga, the most disappointing Kamen Rider fighting game. As always, one of the best things about these Kamen Rider fighting games is the amazing CG intro. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! I'm so glad they still got the 3D rendering opening. I love it! Ima! Damn! I, I actually watched Kuga, guys. I actually finally being a real Kamen Rider fan for once. Oh, hell yeah! Kuga! Hey! Hey, Kuga! I'm singing to avoid the copyright, okay? No fear! Hell yeah! No pain! Okay! Oh, we got the... 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 Oh shit, what's the name of the post? <laughs> Chow and Sheen! Come and ride the Kuga! Oh my god, this song is actually low-key fire. I know, like, out of all the um, Heisei opening, uh, Kuga is one of my least favorite. It's just personal preference, but... It's not bad at all. I still love it, but it's not, you know, it's one of my least favorite. Oh my god, here we go. Wow, look at that! <laughs> that crop is pretty bad. Come on, it's from the opening, right? First thing first, as always, let's go check out the training mode. They even got the logos for all the characters. Wow! Oh my god, there's gonna be like a translation on, on the Gorongi's letters. There must be. Okay, <laughs> I like... <laughs> How it's been like three years, but the graphics still haven't improved yet. <laughs> the game controls pretty much like the previous game. You got your punch, kick. Grab button actually grabs instead of playing a mini game, and there's still a dedicated button for a special move. Oh my god! Can I change forms? I'm, I'm guessing I can't change form because the forms are different characters. I assume. Yes, I am correct. The other forms are indeed different characters, which we'll need to unlock. Either by completing certain modes or with the card drawing system. More on that later. So far, honestly, I'm not that impressed with uh, the game because I feel like it's basically the same mechanics. But you already know the best part of a Kamen Rider fighting game is the story mode. Let's see how good the story mode is. Is there any cutscene for each episode? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Okay! To my surprise, the story mode is actually not a story mode. It is actually a challenge mode. Alright, stage one Henshin. Oh my god, we are playing as the glowing form? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where's the. There's no block button in this game? Okay, the back is blocked. What is the Japanese word saying there? Good question, because that is actually the challenge of each episode. So each episode starts with a very, very bare minimum cutscene. Sometimes it's not even a cutscene, it's just like a loading screen thing. And then we just go straight into the fight. For those who haven't watched my previous two Kamen Rider fighting game videos, the two older games actually contain a lot more substance in the story mode. Each episode starts with a character cutscene with voiceover, and before we fight the boss, there's this short but cool fights with the combatants. So as you guys can see, this game's challenge mode is a huge step down comparing with the previous ones. I'm gonna translate the challenge text every time it appears so you guys know what's going on. But keep in mind that when I play, I don't know what on earth is happening. What? Okay. Okay, wait, let me focus a bit. How can I do the uppercut? Okay, wait, hold up. <laughs> Alright, super move! There you go. That's the first fight done. And this is the awful quote-unquote cutscene that we are getting. That's disappointing. Yes, the whole game is disappointing. With that being said, let's start level 2. Light that kick! What the fuck? Come on, Kuga, do a normal rider kick, please. Yes! Hell yeah, okay. Let me grab you, please. Yes, there you go. Wait, that Garagi got piercing nipples? What the fu- Okay, I never noticed- <laughs> Alright, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't point that out. Let's just ignore what I just said and uh, move on, alright, please? <laughs> 
So far, so good. We are in episode two. What's um? This is uh dragon form, right? Bro, let me do my super. Okay, there you go. That super is so lame. What is that? Like one single slow ass punch. I mean, po. Uh, here we go. Ride a kick. Stop doing that. Ride a kick. Aha. So we are just speed running the game right now because every fight lasts less than 20 seconds. In order to prove my point, I'm gonna show you the whole fight of this level. Guess how long it takes. Let's see. Super move. Oh, there you go. Let me do it again. Bruh, okay. Is there a low super? Yes, there's a low super. Is there a high super? No. Is there like a forward super? Oh. That's dumb as hell. <laughs> give me a good fight, Garangi. Come on, give me a good fight. Wait, I'm not dealing any damage. What is he trying? Like, what is what is it saying? Let me see a super. Yo, that I, oh my god! All right, that looks so cool. I'm literally like walking. I think I got my armor up. I killed a Garagi in one shot. Wait, how am I gonna edit this video? I don't. It's so quick that I don't think I need to edit the whole fight. Okay, now what do I need to do? Do I need to survive again? Why can't I just deal damage like regular fighting game? What is this? After those few short ass fight, we are presented by the best cutscene in the game. Oh! Kick a kick, demo. Motto, tsuyo kick, janito, tosenai no ganate. It's very shit. I must say, this game is a downgrade from the last one. It is indeed a downgrade from the last game. And after another less than 10 seconds fight, we are back to another awful, awful scene. Oh. 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 Bruh, this game is trash. Guys, I'm very disappointed. What is this shit? So look at this. Look at this super. Look at how much damage that dealt. Come on. Yeah, you like that? You like that? You're 1 HP now. Oh! Okay. We got the uh, amazing titan form. Is it called amazing titan form? And we just do like one punch. Wait, what the fuck? That's it? Is that it? And we unlock a card. Is that it? Bro, this game is shit! That's right, that is the end of the challenge mode. Extremely short, extremely anticlimactic, and extremely boring. I thought I missed something, so I actually went ahead and played the whole thing again. And of course, I didn't miss anything. Bruh, this game is really bad. Usually the goal of these kind of Kamen Rider fighting game video is for me to finish the story mode or the challenge mode. However, since the challenge mode of this game is such a disappointment and also so short, we need another goal. And upon reading a guide online about this game, the secrets from the game can be unlocked by playing digital card mode. I found the ultimate goal for the video. Which I regret no long after. Playing as Kamarada Kuga Ultimate Form. Okay, so you can play as Ultimate Form in this game. Okay. To play as the strongest but cheapest character in the game, you must collect all the digital cards. Unfortunately, you can't get all the cards from digital card mode. Some cards are super rare and few of them even impossible to get. And so, we start our journey of collecting all the cards. Although the article said that collecting all the cards is basically impossible, it is actually not. In order to unlock the cards, I need to buy them using the coins that I gather from different modes. Some cards are only available when we meet certain conditions. The most time consuming one is for me to play 50 rounds of 2 player battle mode. Let me try to spend my 40 coins on uh, cards. Let's try to pick one. Give me a Kuga please, Kuga! Listen guys, it's been a while since I watched Kuga. Oh, so it's $1 each. Okay, so we're just gonna spend all the- Who the fuck I Okay, I- I- I forgot. I've unlocked a bike? Okay. So let me quickly go over the different cards that we can unlock. We have the regular cards, which I've just unlocked. And there's also some form cards, which upon collecting three of them, will allow us to unlock a new character. Also, a quick side note. On the side there, there's three value. This is the amount of cards that we haven't unlocked yet. This is the amount of cards that we got. And this is the amount of cards that we got repeated. And so I spent all 40 coins to unpack 40 cards. We ended up unpacking 34 cards out of 70, which is pretty good. And I've 
have also unlocked a few forms. Okay, so let's see. Oh, they got a like a, a card. What do you call it? a card book? Is it called a card book? So let's try. Oh, there you go. You see, I've unlocked like the dragon form, the Pegasus form. All right, so so I, I get it now. I get it now. Okay, so let's try to play as Pegasus. Cause why not? Oh fuck! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> One of the cards that I need to unlock is the glowing form card. And in order to get that card, I need to beat the single player mode with all different forms of Kuga. And while I was playing my second playthrough of the challenge mode, I found out a way to beat all of the dumb AIs in this game. Oh my god, I think we can. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I will be spamming this attack. <laughs> for the rest of the eight battles. So let's speed this shit up. Instead of just speeding up the Pegasus fight, why don't I skip the fights from all the forms until I unlock the glowing form card? How about that? Cause the whole time my face is just like this. This game is too easy. I don't even need to practice any combo. I just spam like the special and then that's it. Look at this. Look at this fight. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, still. Okay, one more. Wow, there you go. The game itself is so boring. It took me a whole one hour of boring grinding to unlock glowing form. There you go, glowing mode. Glowing form, not glowing mo. What the fuck am I saying? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am so exhausted. So this is where I call it a day. And then I realized something very, very bad on day two. All right, so after some long ass grinding session, I finally unlocked uh, all the characters, as you guys can see. And I've also unlocked uh, Glowing Kuga, which is uh, a secret character above, above Dragon Form. This is like Glowing Kuga. Right now, what we are missing is actually the last form, the ultimate uh, Kuga form. So in order to get that, we need to get every single one of the cards. We have six slots left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So five of them are like rising Kuga form. So in order to get uh, the rising uh, form cards, I need to do the two player battle mode for 50 times to get all of the um, cards. So, and here's where the bad news comes in. I think I'm gonna do it right now, but I'm not sure what you mean by like two player. Does it mean I need another real player? Oh my god, it seems like it. What the fuck? I can't. I literally can't play this mode. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay, is there any way I can do two player? So are you saying that I can't get out to my Kuga just because I don't have another controller or another player to play with? Then what's the point of me grinding the freaking survival mode for like two hours just to unlock all of the cards, man? Do I have another controller or something? That's right. In order to play two player mode, I need a second player. I should have known that. What the fuck? But thankfully... Alright, so I found my old uh, controller. So it should allow us, yeah, there you go. It should allow us to uh, play the two player mode. I would be pretty pissed if we actually can't unlock, you know, Ultimate Kuga after all the time that I spent on this game. Thank God that works. So now we can start our 50 rounds of two player battle mode grind. Cue the montage once again, damn it. All right, second card. All right, so I think I've optimized uh, the process of beating two player mode as fast as possible, right? So first of all, I need to pick Titan. And when I do this, and for some reason, if I jump, he's literally one HP. And now I just need to do a, like a low kick and then I won. So that is, I think the quickest way to beat two player. Oh, there we go. I think we're done. I think we're done. Are we done? Turns out I missed one card from the card game. And I'm just spending some time trying to draw that single card. Yeah, there you go. Ultimate form. We got all the cards. All of them. And now we can finally 
play as Ultimate Form. Ultimate Form is here. There you go. Yeah, Ultimate Form. All right. Honestly, I am so sick of this game because this game is just not very well made. I'm. I look pretty bad though. Okay, we got the punch, and it deals so less damage. I think Titan deal more damage than this. How is this the best character in the game? Bro, I'm getting my ass beat. This character is crap. Can someone honestly let me know why is this the final form? Like, why is this the strongest character? Look, I'm getting my ass beat. Bro, calm down. 